Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Batting third. The shortstop. Francisco. That one fouled Lindor. off. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Foul ball. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And a, this kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. And first offering is fouled off. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Now batting. That's shortstop. Francisco. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The 0-2. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Ford, get it. Way back there and gone. <laughs> On the ground. And that's just foul. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that King Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here. That one lifted to left. That's down, one hops off the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two. Get in third. 